a wealthy woman found dead in her Sequoia Hills home. I think it was a contract killing, and I think the contract was to kill Rose Bush. A husband's association with a well-known Knoxville madam. Harry was known to be associated with her. Forty years later, the question remains, who killed Rose Bush? Married more than 40 years, Harry and Rose Bush led a prosperous life in Knoxville. Harry was a successful jeweler and business owner, and Rose an active member of the synagogue. But a brutal turn of events on the evening of November 19, 1968, would destroy that idyllic image and leave Knoxville with a high-profile, unsolved murder case. Apparently, Miss Bush, on the date of the uh, murder, was at home and her gardener had left about 5.15 and uh, at that time Miss Bush was in the kitchen when her maid left and she was preparing a cake for somebody. Harry had tried to call his wife to let her know he would be late. He had a flat tire and needed to take it to the service station. Harry got the busy signal and then no answer when he tried calling Rose. Sometime between 5.15 p.m. and when Harry arrived home at 6.10 p.m., Rose answered a knock at her door from someone she believed was a police officer. Immediately, a gun was fired and Rose threw up her right hand to block the shot. The gun jammed after the first shot and it is believed the killer repeatedly struck Rose with the gun. The blows subdued Rose but didn't kill her. The killer then stabbed Rose with a knife from her own kitchen, and those stab wounds were fatal. And I think the assumption initially was that it was probably a robbery. Rose's purse was missing, with money and jewelry inside. But the robbery theory was quickly dropped when a discarded police uniform, gun, and silencer were found on Cherokee Boulevard, just eight blocks from the Bush home. I think it was a contract killing, and I think the contract was uh, to kill Rose Bush. Uh, the question then becomes, who would want to do that? Based on the people who were interviewed and talked to would uh, point back to Hazel Davidson, in my opinion. Davidson was Knoxville's most famous woman, a beautiful woman with five failed marriages under her belt who would later go on to become a notorious madam. And she was having an affair with Harry Bush. People to come up with different theories. Uh, obviously, when somebody is murdered in their home, uh, one of the first suspects would be uh, the spouse or a relative. Suspicions flared when Harry's affair became public, but he was discredited as a suspect after passing a polygraph test. Even though he remarried and moved to Miami five months after Rose's death, investigators believed Harry wasn't involved. Davidson, on the other hand, who denied involvement and refused to take a polygraph, had investigators doubtful. I don't believe her. I think uh, it's, it's my investigative opinion that she very likely was involved in it in some way, but that could never be proven. The gun and police uniform were traced back to Ohio, and investigators pursued leads there, but again, nothing panned out. As time went along, I don't think anybody ever really felt that they were, that, that they were uh, close to solving this case. I think most investigators who worked on it believe that Hazel had something to do with it. Uh, there are cases, murder cases, that only God will deal with. And after 40 years, it's highly likely that God will, will, will deal with this murder case, or maybe he's already dealt with it.